All right, guys, today we are going to be reacting to she thinks she'll be as attractive at 60 as she is now. Oh, my goodness. We just going to simply react to this video. So let's jump in. Do you think you will be more physically attractive in 10 years time? I'm starting with you. No. Okay. Uh, do you think you're more physically attractive now at 34 than you were at 24? Um... <coughs> I guess not. <laughs> guess not what? Uh, no, I, I suppose I was more attractive at, at 24. Okay. What about you? In 10 years? Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll stay the same. Wow. Okay, so you're 26. So you'll wow. uh, be not more attractive, but you'll be just as attractive at 36 than as you are now at 26. I mean, who's to say? Maybe I could get more attractive, but yeah, I think okay. I'll probably say the same. So minimum same, possibly more attractive. Yeah. What about 46, 20 years time? 46? Probably mm -hmm. the same, yeah. I mean, just based on like genetics, how my parents and aunts and uncles and stuff have aged, I think so, yeah. Okay, 30 years, 56? Sure, yeah. Are you just trolling or? I'm not trolling, I'm being for real. Wow, she's being for real, okay. You, okay. 10 more years, 40 years. I think we'll 66. probably tap out at 66. 66 or. is the peak, you think, of your attractiveness? Yeah, sure. Okay. And so I'm just curious. So you said you'll be. Remember, when she's saying sure, it's, she's not framing anything. It's just, uh, that's not just a word for, to, co to cope. It's not a firm it. It's a sure, yeah, sure. Like she doesn't really care. She's not accepting your statement as, as valid just as or more physically attractive at 56 as you are now at 26 uh why do you think that is because i'm pretty wow because i'm gonna age well Wait, can you just can you just repeat the question to me just so i know you understand the question what's gonna make me more physically attractive is that what you're asking what i didn't say what okay repeat the question oh the she's testing she said was, you can tell that there's a there's a tension now that's been built. She, she want to test a little bit. Brian had to know how to handle this. We are be a more a little bit more stoic about it. Do you think you'll be more physically attractive in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, that is your understanding, correct? Yes, yeah. Okay. So why will you be more physically attractive at 56 as compared to now? At 26. Why? Because I'm going to be the same person I am, which is a pretty girl, and I'm going to, I don't know. So get... let me, so I'll just grant you that people can obviously, you can still be attractive in your 30s, 40s, <clears throat> 50s, mm -hmm. but that's not the question. The question is, will you be just as or more attractive as a comparison? Wow, look at that. Um... Answer still yes. Yeah, yeah, still okay. yes. Um, Robert Tanner, thank you for the gifted 50 memberships. Um, and are you, you are familiar, I am, with aging? Yeah. The whole aging thing? That thing? Yo, thank you, Pagan. You think the whole reason woman at Plural is intentional for whatever oh, reason, okay. which he have no idea why, because he noticed they don't ever confuse man at Plural. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I think the whole using woman as a plural is intentional for whatever reason, which I have no idea why. Because I notice they don't ever confuse men as plural. Ooh, good point. Hey, Pagan, thank you, man. Appreciate the. Uh, That's a good yeah, point. So yes, there. This is a good observation what? by Ulysses. Good observation. Saying yeah. for some reason women can say men fine, but say woman for women all the time. I don't woman. understand that. That's really weird mm -hmm. to me. Confusing. It uh, is very confusing. It sounds similar. Women no. and woman? It doesn't no. sound that similar. No, women, woman, nah, war. You have to do like a like a circle for, for it, right? War. Woman. Women. Women, woman. I feel like it's easier to slip up with yeah. that, you know? No, I don't think um, so. So I'm I'm a little confused though. You said you were a ten. Yeah. How can you possibly be a ten now if you'll be better looking in ten years' time? Mm. Because I'll be on an 11 in 10 years' time. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in 10 years. Are you going to engage in good years. faith or just troll? I'm not trolling. I'm yeah, trolling. Troll. You're trolling. You're right. trolling. But so 
on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the maximum, you can't be an 11. So that's not really productive. We can't break the scale. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, fine. Then you can't. You can. You can break the scale by saying that you will be the most beautiful woman on planet Earth who exists currently. That would sure. be the eleven. Okay. And that's a good faith answer. Yeah, it is a good faith okay. answer. I mean, this is what uh, I think. There you go. I'm a Martian. Yeah, th yeah, exactly. That. So Andrew, Andrew had to. He knows very well how to. He knows how to handle these type of people. Brian, he. You can tell that the. Uh, Andrew is, is really teaching Brian how to move out, around. But you see how Andrew is now teaching her a little bit of the same medicine to her? Did you know that I come from the Can planet I see your Mars? credentials? No, you don't need my credentials. It's a good faith answer. I'm being for real. And you're being yeah. for real. That, I, that at 36, I'm you're going to be the most beautiful woman on planet Earth. Oh, that's a good faith answer, Andrew. Hey, even Beyonce don't look as good as how she used to in her 20s. Ooh! I think she looks okay, great, okay. I mean, she again, look like beauty. as good as she used to. She beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Look, look, look. look, look, look. Like yeah. the most beautiful person yeah. on earth. After she has kids, stuff like that, like you wrinkle you. And Angelina Jolie. And there's like, beauty in that, don't get me wrong, but. Nah, no beauty in that. Peak, but not as good as in, when they were yeah. in their peak. Right. I don't know when my peak is going to be. I uh, haven't gotten that far. But uh -huh. I do know that I'm attractive, and I'll probably be attracted, attractive 10 years from now. But that's not, okay, that's not the question. Yeah. I can just grant, like, sure, you'll be, you'll still be attractive. I know what you're saying, but I'm just saying, I mean, like, that's my answer. I don't know why that's not good enough. Which is well, BS. Because you say, well, I will still be attractive in 10 years' time. Mm -hmm. But you understand that's not the question. More attractive. Yeah, you said just as or more physically attractive. Yeah, I said, yeah, just as. Okay, but so, I mean, knowing what you know about aging mm -hmm. do people uh get wrinkles as they age sure they do yeah does this impact if somebody is very wrinkly or what have you their skin isn't as uh whatever uh, it's, it's as not as smooth you can tell the difference a little wrinkly a little bit uh, uh dry you know there's a lot of things that go with age and that's why it's important for females to have kids very young Right, because not only you have to keep yourself attractive to your husband, right? Because the older you get, the more, you know, uglier you're going to get. But, you know, you have your kids early on and then you start, you work, you're working out on top of that. At least you can, you know, stretch the game a little bit. But in this case, I don't think, I don't even think she's being arg arguing right now with, from a place of good faith. But we're going to just, we're going to simply just give the benefit of the doubt. Just, just give it. Does this tend to make someone more attractive or less attractive? I mean, I think. Uh, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> ah. TTS. Um. Um, she's a witch. May we burn her? Okay. She might let you if you give her your life savings. True. Um, yeah, I mean, again, I think maturity, you, uh, some people are into that. Um, okay. So that's my answer. I'm going to stand on that. What? Some people this? are. Okay. I'm struggling here a little bit. So, if you think you'll be, when do you, you know, you notice that uh, Andrew's not literally, it's not coming in yet. He's allowing Brian to just grow a little bit. That's I think I, I'm seeing like a mentor student kind of dynamic. I think the peak is 46, 36, 56. Mm, probably the peak will be like 30. I mean, can we like not do like 10 years? Like 31, 30. So if I uh, could wave a magic wand that only advanced your outward physical appearance it didn't you know you wouldn't um pass away five years earlier you wouldn't if you were to get cancer at a certain age you wouldn't otherwise get it five years sooner just your outward physical and you live to the be uh, you know you you still live just as long if we could wave a wand advance your physical appearance five years six years you would take it i mean i'm in the mm. age that i'm at right now i'm not in any no, rush state it's just your so the question. same age. Okay, sure. Why not? That, but see, sure is not an affirmative answer, folks. Sure, they should not accept this sure. So it should be yes or no, because yes or no will hold her more accountable, folks. It's just like, I know, it's just a little... It's, I might be just speaking on this too much, right? But believe me, folks, sure is not an affirmative answer answer it's not it has to be yes or no you take it yeah the crucible will pay for that surgery 
an age. No, did. Okay. Uh, so going you, would, around the you would take that? Sure. I mean, it's only 10,000 bucks, and they can add all sorts of wrinkles and make you look way older. Beautiful. <laughs> then would, we can really. Uh, would you actually do it? Yeah. Would you commit to doing that? I don't think anyone's going to say that they're going <laughs> to commit to doing Let's that. Let's go. Because the answers weren't good faith. Ah. Uh, I actually think that in. Or that two things can be true at the same oh, time. No. Let's start with the first truth statement then. Do you believe that you're going to be the same attractive level that you are right now in 10 years? Sure, yeah, okay. I do. Okay, if that is the case, you don't think you're going to be a smidgen more attractive? I think there is a possibility. I can't see the future. I don't know what's going to sure, happen. Sure, you can't see the future. You're just guessing right now, right? Yeah, educated okay. guess. If you're going to be just as attractive then as you are right now, what would even be the harm of you doing an age advancement surgery? Because I don't want to go under the knife for no reason. <laughs> well, but <laughs> but it, it, it has the potential to make you yet even more attractive. <laughs> I just said I could be just as attractive or I could be more. We don't know. So why would I take that gamble when I'm happy the way that I am? Mm -hmm. and, but you did say that you would peak at 31. He's possibly. very good at listening. Wow. Possibly. So now you don't think you'll peak at 30? What did you say? 30 sassy and flirty or some shit? 30 flirty and thriving, actually. Yeah. 30 flirty. <laughs> Let's Again, go. I don't, I don't have a... First time. First time she's getting pushed in her life. You can tell there's a lot of sims trying to get laid with her. She's saying no to it. You can a tell. crystal ball. I can't see into the future. Um, I do know that I have seen plenty of women that have just gotten more attractive as they age. And there's plenty of women that I'm sure think that they are less attractive as they age. Yeah. Can you name one that you think... Um, who's there the famous go. one who has gotten more attractive as she's aged? There we go. Let's I go. Can't with pull it out of my gap. brain right now. Yeah. Wow. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson has not gotten hotter. She aged. You don't think? I think she's pretty attractive right now. Pretty attractive, but not hotter as she aged. The same. I cannot pull one out of my ass right now. But yeah. Let, let me think about think it for of? a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's me. Um, <clears throat> you have to. <laughs> <laughs> she's not liking it, folks. She's getting pushed, but she never gets pushed. But you can tell she, she's surrounded by a lot of simps. Yeah, uh, do you think you'll be more attractive in 10 years' time? I think I will not be more attractive. I think the peak is probably between ages like 25 to 35. 25, that's it. And then you start getting wrinkles and aging. and then. Okay. 25, that's it. Uh, well, you guys are 18. So, well, I, I guess I could still ask it. Do you, get, do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years' time? No. Oh, okay. 28? No. No. I think my standard for beauty will probably change, but I'll yeah. probably rank myself similarly. So better looking at 28? I think like the same. Same? What about 38? But probably same. less attractive less, okay. than 28. Uh, okay, what about you? No, I don't think I'll be as attractive. In 10 I thought years I time? looked great in my early 20s. Like I was damn near perfect, I thought. Mm -hmm. And do you now, think? <laughs> and no, she's being honest, I like that. Do you think you were better? Oh, no, I'm 30. Oh, oh wow. Wait, why did I put? 28. You're mm -hmm. 30? Yes. Okay, do you think you're better looking at 20 than you are now at 30? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. stomach? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. There we go. 100%. WK, WK in the chat. Um, WK. I'm not worried about age, though, just because how my chats. parents look, but realistically, when I was in my early 20s, I was, I was fire. I was, I was yeah. I you being honest. 26 to 28 for me. Because you mm. lose, like, you have, like, at least for me, when I was in my young 20s, like, college, you ha I have, like, a round face. Right. And it starts yeah. to, like, thin out the older you get. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it depends where you see yourself, too, like, in 10 years. I mean, for me, I consider that, like, I would want to have kids by that age. And I feel like physically-wise, oh, yeah. it's probably yeah. less, like, mm -hmm. yeah. you, your body changes a lot when you have kids. Oh, yeah. For sure. well, oh, yeah. I mean, you got to think, like, 10 years of accrued sun damage, yeah. stress, the just the, even if you took perfect care of yourself your diet was perfect you you refrained from like uh staying out in the sun too long mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle zero yeah, too much vitamin uh vitamin d doesn't help either folks if you're stay way too too long in the sun that thing will age you so quick look at the uh people from louisiana have you guys uh, watched that swan people man there's people that are like 25 they look like they're 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 almost 50 because the sun they're always you know it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Don't stay too long in the sun. We're just getting 
like you had servants that were fanning you with like <laughs> a uh, palm tree branch and they were feeding you gra grapes and shit. You're still just naturally through the aging process, wrinkles, mm -hmm. et cetera. And then most people don't go through 10 years without no stress whatsoever. Stress yeah. does tend to uh, age you a bit yep. too. I also wanted to, I wanted to check into this a little more. It's because since we've been over this, I don't know how many times, but how many different women have very similar answers. Um, so I went and I, I went back and looked at legends, folk legends about the fountain of youth, right? And I found hundreds, hundreds of legends about a fountain where you go in or something similar to this, where it reverses the aging process. Couldn't find any about a fountain of age <laughs> or people seeking to age their bodies. Could basically find almost no folklore on that. A couple of stories, but usually it was like evil and nefarious, right? That was the, that was the idea behind it. Why do you guys think that would be that people would always be seeking to reverse the aging process, but they're never seeking to accelerate it? Why mm. do you think that would be? Good, good point. He's not liking it. I'm like, I'm, I'm loving this. Why, yeah. why, why, do you, why else do women get Botox? Right. They know that youth is beauty. That's just what right. it is. And Tighter the, skin, no wrinkles. We all know this. And the association then for why men would be attracted to younger women is because they're beautiful. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. Ugly. But I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Right? That's the, the truth. The general, the general kind of idea yeah, that men it. are attracted to younger women is because they, they have beauty. And that's what they're at. The younger women. I want you guys to pay attention to something. Let's just go back here. Look at this body language. I'm ugly. <laughs> but I mean, that's, but that's why. She's right? laughing? The, the Let she look down. Okay. Yeah, she's feeling some kind of way. General, look at that. Kind of idea and then look at him right back. Both her hair. That's an IOI right there. Indicator of interest. Right there. Right there and there. And that aspect alone. The reason, the reason she's feeling a little bit of attraction is because Andrew, clearly, he's, he's not simping. He's, it's that simple, guys. He's not simple. He and Brian are testing her. She never gets pushback because she's, the, you know, she's probably the, the cool witch of the town. You know, She's probably the cool witch. But she never gets uh, pushback because she, you know, she knows everything. And she go here with... Uh, she go in a podcast where you, you literally see two average guys pushing back and they're like um, we don't care about your red hair and your tattoos man we, we don't play this game here and she's feeling that pressure and it's because they they have beauty and that's what they're after also i mean if on top of that yeah, if you look at but negative uh, body language products you're so detached. they tend to attempt to repair skin damage mm -hmm. that is accrued as you age there is no cream out there for women that will give you wrinkles there's anti-wrinkle creams. So it's like, well, you wrinkle as you get older, but you're trying to fight against the wrinkles. Yeah. It's, so you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, a little bit of Italian. Well, let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one.